Hey Pimp Masters, what's up? Today we're going to be comparing marinated ribs against competition style ribs. We're going to marinate one rib and the other competition style is just going to get a basic rub. First order of business is making our marinade. One part sugar. We're going to need a lot of rub today. Next up, we'll use half of the amount of salt. We'll use one eighth part of onion powder, one eighth part of garlic powder, half the amount of paprika powder, and a quarter of the amount in curry powder. Now we'll mix that up. Now that is a good looking barbecue rub. Of course I need to try this. Oh my God. That is a nice rub. Wow. That's gonna be perfect for our ribs. Whoa. I hope they don't like ribs. We don't have enough to go around. Now it's time to make our marinade and you guys know what I like. I like ketchup manis. And I got a lot of ketchup manis for you guys today. We're taking out the big can. We're going to use around two cups. Next we're going to add one cup of vinegar and this is oak barrel aged vinegar. The good stuff. Next we'll add two sliced shallots. Also going to add two cloves of garlic to the marinade. And now our final ingredient, the one that brings it all together, our barbecue rub. <laughs> Look at that color, it is mind blowing. So we'll add five tablespoons of this and we'll mix it up. Quick taste test. Woohoo! Whoa, that's a powerful marinade. Oh, <laughs> sour. When the ketchup manis is the real star there, but wow. That is a really good, strong marinade. For our ribs, we have these beautiful baby bag ribs from the Heritage Pork. Look at how good they look. They have a lot of meat. This is the bone and then all of that is meat in between on top, at least a finger thick. So let's turn this up a little bit, get rid of the floppy bits. Now it's time to take the membranes off the back of the ribs. Work a knife underneath, push it up. Put your finger in. And then, in one pull, rip all of it off. And see, you don't even need a paper towel. Our ribs are ready to be marinated. It can be a little bit challenging to marinate them because of their size. I like to put them in a vacuum bag. That makes it a lot easier. All right, let's drop these in the bag. There we go. Then we'll pour in our marinade. I wanna make sure that I get all that goodness in there. I wanna make sure the ribs are covered with the marinade that we get it everywhere. Shake it all around. There we go. Let's suck the air out of this and seal it up. You can marinate this for two hours, four hours. You can even marinate them overnight, just depending on how strong you like that flavor. We vacuumed these. We're gonna be marinating them for two hours. They're gonna be so tasty. Let's put them in the fridge. Our marination process is almost done. So for us, it's time to start working on a barbecue sauce. We'll take a pan, put it on the barbecue. We got a Joe Jr. here, a blazing hot, that will help us with melting all of the minerals that are inside our sauce. There are minerals inside your sauce. You don't have minerals inside your sauce? No. Better check your sauce, brother. We're going to start our sauce off with a cup of ketchup. The next thing that we definitely need is ketchup manis. Oop. And we'll only need a quarter cup of that. We're also gonna need a quarter cup of vinegar. You can use apple vinegar. I'm using oak barrel aged vinegar. I like some heat in my sauce. So we're gonna use Tabasco Sriracha. I'm going to use one tablespoon. Now we need to start working on our sweetness. We need a lot of sugar. Trust me, we do. We want sweet and sticky ribs. So we're gonna start with some maple syrup, about a half a cup. Then we're gonna add half a cup of raw cane sugar. And to finish it all off, we're gonna use our barbecue rub. We're going to need five tablespoons of this. Now we'll mix this up and we'll wait for our syrupy bubble to start popping up. And by that time, our sauce is done. We're going to pour this in a jar. There we go. Look at that, Look at that beautiful sauce. Wow. This is the good stuff. Thank you, Kamada Joe Jr. We're going to fire up our Big Joe now. We got our slow roller in place. We got our charcoal already filled up. Now it's time to light it. I'll put in three fire starters, light them up. While our barbecue is getting up to temperature, we're going to take the membrane of our second rib. These ribs are still a bit moist, so we don't need to have oil on there to make sure that our rub sticks. It will stick by itself. We'll rub at the bottom. Look at these beautiful ribs. <laughs> the color on it is fantastic. This one is gonna be so tasty. 
they see it in the other one? I think it is, Morrison. I think the classic competition style ribs are going to be better than the marinated. But you never know for sure. That's why we do these tests. We got to find out. With ribs for smoke wood, you can use a lot of types of smoke wood. You can use fruit woods, you can use heavy smoke woods like oak. In this case, I'm going to be using beech. It will give a lighter smoke than oak but just the same, a really good European style of flavor. We'll put the lid of our slow roller in. There we go. And we just created the best smoker in the world wide world. Whole wild world, world wide world, world wide web. So I'm such a good presenter. It's like... Let's get some coffee. Luckily, yeah, I'm good at barbecue. Our ribs have been marinating and they look fantastic. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at these two beauties, absolutely gorgeous. They both look so good. I'm getting so hungry. I just wish we made more. Well, it is what it is. Let's put these on the smoker. We're running at a temperature of 120 degrees Celsius. We'll put our rubbed ribs on first. And before we put our marinated ribs on, we're just gonna take a little bit of paper towel and scrape off all of the ingredients. Otherwise, it's not gonna pick up any smoke. Looking good. <laughs> We're going to let these sit in our barbecue for two hours and then we're going to attack on them and see if they picked up enough smoke. And after two hours, our ribs picked up enough smoke. Look at them. They look so good. Let's take them off the barbecue. Good amount of smoke color. As you can see, our marinated ribs, they picked up a lot of smoke and they look really good. The smoke has definitely got in there. The ribs with the rub have caramelized and as you can see, it developed some kind of crust. From this point on, we're going to treat both ribs the same way. We're going to put them in an aluminum foil, add two lumps of butter, some barbecue sauce, and to finish it off, a little bit of sugar. Now we'll wrap it up. Now we'll put them back on the barbecue. Close the lid and let them continue to cook. Another two hours has gone by. We're taking them off the barbecue and let's take a look inside. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. they look amazing. Absolutely beautiful. But what I need to know is if they're getting to their tender point or not. So I'm gonna use my thermometer. I'm just gonna stick them in and see if there's much resistant or little resistant. And as you can see, I can just stick my thermometer in with little resistance. That means that they're done or almost done. So we're taking them out of the foil and putting them back on the barbecue. What we're going to do now is going to make sure we get that beautiful, shiny, sticky outside. I got my jar of barbecue sauce, which is freaking awesome. And then I'm gonna brush it onto our ribs, covering with all that goodness, making sure we have all the edges and all the ribs covered. Now we're going to let that barbecue sauce dissolve and glow and slither all over our ribs until they're nice and sticky and we can take them off the grill. What's up with this weather, man? Denise, what did you order? Did you order rain? Come on, give me a like, thumbs up, big thumbs up if you think we need sunshine. Until the roof is finished, no more rain. Hit that like button. That's a rain dance, Denise. Don't stop doing the rain dance. <gasps> Whoa! Look at these ribs, Morrison. They look so good. Let's take them off the grill. First, our rib with the barbecue rub, our marinated ribs. Okay, now we're getting to the scientific part, the taste test. I need help. Help our 101, get in. Do you like ribs? First, let's taste the basic version, the barbecue competition style ribs that we have here. Look at that. Nice and dry ribs. We've got a nice bit of smoke ring on these ribs. They look pretty good to me. Of course, only one way to find out if they're really good. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. Clean of the bone. No way marinated ribs can beat these ribs. The ribs were nice and juicy. We had a good amount of smoke and the flavor profile, it was completely out there. I like to cook them this way. Solid score every time. Competition barbecue ribs, perfect. Are you ready for the next ribs? These are the marinated ribs. Looking good as well. A little bit darker in color. 
probably because of the ketchup mayonnaise. Nice smoke ring. There you go. Not bad. But different. Different. It's more sweet. The marinade really has gone into the meat and the flavor that you get from your pork ribs is gone. You don't taste pork anymore. Basically, I'm just tasting ketchup mayonnaise now. But it's a good rib. All right, it's a good rib. You know, it's a good rib. Nobody would complain if you give them this, but I still, I like the other way, way better. Mm. I thought I was gonna like the marinade ones better, but... This is better, right? I mean, I could eat both, but it's a tiny little bit. Did better. you hear that, Martian? Both of these racks, under a minute. Under a minute. All right, here it is. I'm gonna slice these ribs up. I'm gonna prep them for Denise to eat them under a minute. All of these ribs. So if you think Denise is gonna make it, I wanna see a big thumbs up on the first comment that's under this video. And if you don't think she's gonna make it, I want you to thumbs down it. Why? Well, well it's just a challenge. Thumbs up the comment underneath the video I think she's going to make it. Thumbs down it, the first comment underneath if you think she's not going to make it. What? I'm sorry, do you have trouble talking? No, no, no problems. All right, let me slice them up for you. What do you think, Martian? Come on, man. What do you think? What do you think, bro? I need to know. What do you think? Is Denise going to make it? No, never. You want to have a little bet with me? Uh, I want also a piece of the rib. I'll bet you. Yeah. You want a piece of that bread? I'll bet you uh, a Wagyu 10 plus Antroco that she won't make it. I'll give that to you. What is? What are you gonna give me? It has to be worth give back a your 10, 10 plus I'm Antroco. Be, I'm <gasps> yes. Yes. Give no, me no, back that no, smoker. No. <laughs> no. You can borrow it. You can borrow my better oh, smoker yeah? two times. Two times. Awesome. Two cooks. Deal. Let me start off Who by saying. One minute is not very realistic. If it would have been five, 1000% I would have made. But, I mean, sure. Do we have to otherwise make it two minutes maybe, to be fair? Okay, two minutes. Two minutes, it's a little bit more. So if you want to change your mind, change it now with a thumbs up or thumbs down. Are you ready, Denise? <laughs> no. Three, two. I can grab one already. One, go. All right, the clock is ticking. <laughs> you need a glass of water? No. You good? No. Yeah, Already one minute has passed. Denise, you gotta hurry up. You're not past half of it yet, so you have to go faster, it's faster. Right. Look at the plate, Morrison. Too many ribs left. No. She's not gonna make it. There's gonna be plenty of left for you. Three, two, one. <laughs> for real, how much did I eat? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, this was two minutes. I said five minutes, no problem. It's true. Marvin, we have to try this. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we did. Thank you guys for watching and a special thank you to all of our patrons and YouTube members, you guys freaking rock. Thank you for the notification squad to be here. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, eat smackler. And keep on smoking. Rips. Mm. These are some good ribs.